Today we are going to explore Google My Maps. And Google My Maps is similar to regular Google Maps, but you have the ability to create your own content that can be used in the classroom. And students have the ability to create a My Map based on um, multiple different content area options that is later on in the training. So what I want to show you is how you can start a Google My Maps. And we all start from Google Drive. So if there is a specific content that you're going to create a map for, maybe you want to start it in a certain folder. If it's about an art history or something, start within that folder. And then you're going to click New. You're going to go to More. And you're going to click Google Map, My Maps. And that will open up a um, new map for you. So I've already got a map that I've started out. And as you can see, it is a, a basic map. You can move around, you can look through it and everything. But what I'm doing is plotting out um, a potential uh, vacation where I am visiting castles in Scotland. So it's really easy to look for the castles um, and whatever content you would. It's just like any type of Google Maps, Apple Maps, you type in where you want to lo look. So I'm going to type in a location and I'm going to click on it and it's going to take me right to the location. So a couple things that I can do is I can add this to the map and now that I have added it to my map you can see it's now listed over here in an order but maybe I want to add, change, put some personal things to it. So first of all I'm going to change my marker. I'm going to click on my little paint bucket. I'm going to change it to a different color and I now have this little icon. If you click on more icons, you get a lot of icons that you can organize it for. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to select the little castle. And as you can see, now my little guy is a purple castle right here. If I click back on it, I can also click Edit. So in it, I can now change the title, add more information. I can remove the marker from Google Maps and add... Uh, whatever content I want to. You also have the ability to add a picture. Maybe this is a, um, a review of your summer trip and you have pictures from it so you can add or upload your own video or still picture by just clicking the icon. So I'm going to click Save and uh, again I can come back. I've added it here. And then I can also have directions from here if maybe I want to do that. So that is the basic rundown of how you can add locations to your markers. You now have it here. A couple things. You can come in here. You can rename the layer. You can delete the layer. And you can make a table out of it. You can also rename your map in case you need to do that as well. So um, that's it. So as you're on this map, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit, a little bit farther. There's some wonderful tools that we now have available up here. So I can select certain items and move them if I want. But here's the, uh, the fun thing that we can have. You can draw a line. And so I can do a line or shape. And I can connect my elements together to show a path. Or I can show a shape if I want to come back up to the end. And now I have a shape that you can outline of a certain item location or whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this for now. I'm going to delete it as well. So you can also draw a line from location to location. And I also have a measuring tool. So now I can measure how long or how far it is from a certain location. So your students can use this in various different aspects of math and science, geography, even um, a story if they're charting out something from the book, the, how far the, act to get ideas of how far somebody may have walked or the travel distance from something. So there's a lot of tools that we're going to explore in Google My Maps for this challenge.